welcome to our channel uh, today we will be discussing about TLC this thin layer chromatography and in particularly we will discuss about the illusion order in TLC and here are the five component we will discuss the illusion order of these five components so uh, first of all what is TLC so TLC thin layer chromatography is a separation technique uh, on which the components of a mixture are separated depending upon their relative polarity for stationary phase for mobile phase so basically the components are being separated depending upon their relative polarities so i will just show you a uh, uh, tlc plate and i will discuss uh, these components how they got separated so uh, first of all you can see that i have like this plate there's a tlc plate that's made up of uh, silica or aluminia and uh, from the bottom you can see that we have placed the uh, mixture the spot spot of the mixture different mixture uh, over here and then we have to place this TLC plate uh, into the solvent and then the solvent will, uh, will move up so and then the different components are being separated accordingly so here we have uh, five components squalene, methyl stearate, methyl oleate, cholesterol and alpha tocopherol this also called the vitamin E. So the basic question is uh, which component with elute first and I will clear like what's called the elution or which component elute first what does it mean by the uh, elute first elute first mean you can see like uh, we have placed a um, spot uh, over here the mixture spot and then the components will move starts to move upward and if I will do it this way and because the solvent is up here so we have spotted the mixture over here uh, when when we have placed it uh, into the solvent then the solvent will move upward slowly rises so elute first means the component that is present in the mixture uh, will have to go through along with the solvent if it has the low affinity for the stationary phase that's called that's the stationary phase so if the component that is present in the mixture has the low affinity for the uh, stationary phase then it will move along with the solvent upwards and it will be separated uh, or disappeared uh, along with the uh, along with the solvent so it is not retained by the stationary phase so that's what we call that it's eluted first so over here we have different components and the question comes like which components elute first and what's the order of the elution of these components so for that uh, you can see like uh, you must ask a question like this TLC plate is white but this is a green these are the staining techniques and we will discuss in another video uh, like how we can recognize these spots because uh, when you take the TLC plate out of the solvent like first we have to mark the plate then mark the spots of the mixture over here then place it into the solvent and then when you withdraw the plate you can't see anything on the plate then we have to stain it either with the iodine or with the acid then you will come up with these spots and you can use the uv lights as well to identify the spots so the basic question over here is like which component uh, from these five components with elute first so for that you must remember that you have to go through the structure of these ones to check whether uh, whether these components are polar non-polar and how they are made up of so for example i am taking cholesterol and alpha tocopherol so uh, I will show you over here because I have cholesterol and alpha tocopherol both the components over here so first of all when we look at the structure of the cholesterol we will see that this is a hydroxyl group and over stationary phase um, over here in the TLC plate is silica or aluminia and it will interact with the polar um, components if the uh, over mixture after if the compound contains the polar group then it will interact with the stationary phase and and when we see the alpha tocopherol it also contain a hydroxyl group so it will also interact with the stationary phase so for these compounds both the compounds they are considered to be the polar compounds but cholesterol doesn't contain the benzene ring but alpha tocopherol does contain benzene ring so they both have the one hydroxyl group say so they have the similar kind of elution so when we look at uh, into the structure of these ones here is the graph so this alpha tocopherol and this cholesterol when you see like here is the line for alpha tocopherol 
and here's the line for the cholesterol so they are not a um, very much difference uh, between these two structures uh, and the elution so they are the same but alpha tocopherol has uh, eluted less as compared to that of the cholesterol uh, so you have to make it clear like uh, that's the distance traveled by cholesterol that is 1.5 centimeter in this plate and that's the spot for this one that's the cholesterol c and that's 1.5 centimeter and that's alpha tocopherol and that's 4.5 centimeter so the distance traveled by alpha tocopherol is greater than that of the cholesterol means that cholesterol has greater affinity for this stationary phase as compared to that of alpha tocopherol that's why the uh, alpha tocopherol elute first it goes moves upward along with the solvent and it rises upward but the cholesterol that is retained in the stationary phase it does not uh, it interact with the stationary phase and it doesn't move upward so that's why uh, the distance traveled by cholesterol is 1.5 and it's because of the OH group and it doesn't contain the benzene ring here uh, it has OH group but it contains benzene ring and is a long unsaturated unsat uh, hydrocarbon ring and that's make it like uh, it doesn't have a strong affinity for the stationary phase that's why uh, it will move along with the solvent to move upward so depending upon the structure we can check that which component would elute first and which component would elute later on so it's basically like which component has a stronger affinity for the stationary phase and which component has a station uh, solid or uh, the strong affinity for the stationary phase so from these compounds the squalene is mostly non-polar compounds so when the it's the non-polar compounds it would be eluted first at the top it will move along with the solvent at the top so because it doesn't interact with the stationary phase as our stationary phase is polar and there's a non-polar so it move along with the solvent then methyl steriate and methyl oleate they both are the same it doesn't have the much difference between them uh, uh, only like methyl oleate contains a double bond in the structure so it's slightly above that of the methyl steriate because it becomes slightly more non-polar so this whole about the elution order and uh, you can see uh, from these uh, TLC plates uh, how much distance travel by different solvents and if unknown solvent is given then what's the scenario that will be discussed in the upcoming video thank you so much for watching